So how can we detect cars and any pedestrians in the video feed using computer vision? The application of which is in the video surveillance or in the self-driving cars to detect nearby cars or pedestrians to avoid collision. Folks, Nitin here and this is the AI University channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how can we create a small project that can detect cars and pedestrians. This is very useful from the perspective of building self-driving cars because it is very essential for those self-driving cars to detect nearby cars or even pedestrians to avoid any collision. Also, we can use this kind of project in surveillances. So watch this video till the end. If you are new here then consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. Please show your love and support by liking, sharing or subscribing to this video as I will feel highly motivated. Also we now have the AI University Android app and the website which is in beta mode right now. You can download the code related Jupyter notebooks by enrolling to this course right here on the AI University website. All the courses are offered for free on this website. You can access the related quizzes and certificate of course completion like this from the AI University once I upload all the videos and once you complete all the tutorials including final quiz. So first let me give you a demo of what are we going to build. Let me first go over to the Jupyter Notebook. So now let, let me run this cell. You can see that there is a video in which few people are walking around and our program or application is successfully detecting all these pedestrians. Now let me close it and run another cell. So now let me run this second cell. So here you could see that there are few cars moving on the road and our application is detecting them successfully using these bounding rectangles which are in yellow color. Now let's move to the python code to see how can we build it. So first we are importing our familiar cv2 and numpy modules. In the next line we are using cascade classifier function and providing the location of har cascade full body dot xml file where we actually have stored it. This way we are creating an object of this classifier with the name classify body. If you have jumped directly on this video and, and is wondering what is har cascade classifier then consider watching this video. Link is given in the i button above. In the next line we are capturing the video by making use of video capture function and passing path of the video or mp4 file or avi file as an argument to it. Width capture is the variable which holds the result of the operation. In the next set of line we are just looping using while function once the video gets successfully opened. Inside this while loop we are reading our frame as well as resizing it to 50% to speed up the process. That is, we are decreasing the resolution of the image to only 50%. Using FX and FY, we are reducing the image height to 50% of its original size and width to 50% of its original size. We are doing this because uh, larger images takes lot of time due to having lot of pixels and hence kernel takes time to slide over the complete image. So if you have noticed uh, when I ran the second cell, it was kind of slow. That car detection was little bit slow that is because the image size was huge in case of car detection video. Now interpolation method used in the resize function is inter underscore linear then in the next line we are making our image as grayscale because it's always good practice to do that. Then we are passing uh, that grayscaled image to the detect multiscale method. This method is associated with our uh, classify body classifier. If you want to know more about detect multi-scale function in detail then watch this video. Link is given in the i button above. In the next line uh, we are using for loop to go over bodies detected array finding out the coordinates of the bodies present in the image. X, Y, W, H determines those coordinates where W is width and H is height. Then we are drawing the rectangles around those uh, bodies by making use of this rectangle function and then eventually showing the boundary rectangle on the screen. The if condition check for weight key so that when user presses letter Q on the keyboard it comes out of the loop thereby closing the window. One thing to remember here is that the rectangle we are drawing around the objects is are green in color. So this particular 
tuple here shows the green color on BGR band. So this one is blue, this one, this value 255 is green and this one is red. So let's run this cell once again. So when I ran this cell, I got the following output. You can see that it is detecting the pedestrian successfully. You could see the green bounding rectangle around the pedestrian, which means it is detecting them successfully. Now let's move on to the next cell where we are detecting the cars. The code is pretty much similar to the above cell. The only difference here is that we are creating car classifier using har cascade car here. So let's run this cell as well. So when I ran this cell, I got the following output. You could see that it is detecting the car successfully here as well. You could see the yellow bounding rectangles around the cars, which means it is detecting them successfully. So folks, this is it for this video. Hope you learned something new today. In the next upcoming videos, I will cover another important topic of the computer vision. So here is today's question. What is the need of resizing an image of frame captured from the video? Please post your answers, comments in the comment section given below so that I can get a chance to incorporate your feedback. You can also post your technical questions in the comment section and I will try to answer the same. If you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. In case you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming videos. So keep on watching. Thank you.